Hi, this is Danny Lewis, course developer and tutor here at Point Blank Online. And you're watching Making Music with Apps. So in this week's video, we're gonna take a look at using iOS apps to create all of the musical elements in a track idea. So this is recorded into Ableton Live. I've got several elements. We've got the eye machine for the beats, Korg MS-20 for bass, Animoog for abstract pad sounds, Beat Shuffler for the Amen rearrangement, and then Garage Band Electric Piano. So in the next few minutes, I'll take you on a tour. I'll show you the apps that I use to create the actual musical elements that you're hearing now. So the first app was the iMachine from Native Instruments. What I wanted to do was to create some variations so you can see they're muting the closed hi-hat pattern. Record it into Ableton Live now. And this is not synchronized with the transport at the moment. I've just got the tempo on the transport the same as the tempo on the app. So that means that it's out on the actual audio clip recording. So all I need to do is to re-establish the first beat in the bar. So that's what's happening here. So the section with the closed hat into the section without. Create a couple of clips so that there's a variation. So you can see me doing that now, reducing the actual length. So this is gonna be the clip with the closed hat and then shifting the loop brace over. You can adjust the loop brace of course, just find a section that you prefer. So that's the beats down, next on to the bass. So the bass is from the Cork MS-20. It's got a real classic analog sound to it. see me recording a bass line in here just improvising a little bit every now and again remember there is a lag because of the fact that I was using Soundflower if you guys are just doing this for yourselves you're gonna get a nice instant response from the synth so you can see that I moved the low pass filter to create a variation Shifting onto the high pass, thinning the sound out. Onto the chaos pad. So Animoog is next for an abstract pad sound. This is from the Richard Divine collection. So what I wanted to do is just to get a collection of notes. These are really abstract, so there's not so much a defined note pitch. I wasn't worrying about the notes I was playing on the keyboard. And then what I wanted to do is just to get a little bit more expressiveness, I used the actual keyboard on the Animoog because the vertical position adds modulation to the sound. Animoog is a great synth for abstract textures, as well as the traditional sounds as well. So if you want some fun mangling up some breaks, check out Beat Shuffler. So you can see that I can trigger 
the loop at whichever position in the grid that I want it to be. So just rearranging stuff on the fly. Automatically quantized, so it's locked into the grid. So the concept really here was just to record uh, a long section where I could get some bits that I could pick and choose from. You don't have to worry if you're making any mistakes, just get it all down and then see what's best when you actually finish. So I ended up with this loop, transposed it up, reduced the section here to create a more gated effect. And then just adjusted the level. So this is the smart keyboard in GarageBand. So I've got something programmed here. So what I've got programmed is the chords. So you come up to the settings as you go to edit chords, you can see what I've set up here on these last two. So these are deliberate. These are something that I feel works quite nicely. Really easy, you just trigger the chord by holding your finger down and then when you move up, it creates this little arpeggio. So this is a really nice way to get some chords down. So I'm gonna record some in on top of what we got. So that's it for this week. If you've got an iPad or an iPhone, try the apps out, see how it works, record them into Ableton, Logic, Cubase, whatever you're using. Don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash online and check out the promo after this for some information about our courses. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.